Now to this week's Sunday Spotlight. We continue to track Middle Tennessee's growth with our Nashville 2020 reports. A well-known real estate firm says the Music City market is sizzling. We spoke to the president of Mark Spain Real Estate. He says, think back to how downtown Nashville looked in March, April, and May. Really what started to happen post May is the real estate market has been on, you know, kind of one of the, I've never, I've been in the business for 20 years. I've never seen it quite like this. Um, so yeah, I think, you know, if you look at, hey, the, the very nature of this pandemic is saying you should stay at home whenever possible. So I think what happened is, is all of a sudden people started looking around their home and saying, hey, is this really going to meet my needs going forward? Whether that's now I'm working from home and I don't really have a great home office, or maybe I'm in a condo in, you know, downtown Nashville and I'm thinking, gosh, it'd be great to have a little backyard or some space to spread out. Um, and so we're seeing people move for all different kinds of reasons. We're seeing people moving in town, right? And, you know, that was kind of contrary to what a lot of folks might have thought. Yeah, things looking very different. Here is a measure of the heat of Nashville's real estate market. Mark Spain Real Estate told us the area has a little more than a month of inventory. That is how long it would take to sell all of the existing homes on the market. Last year, the city had about five months of inventory and six months is considered normal. So the translation, Music City is an extreme seller's market. Home sellers today are in a unique position. Um, you know, they've got to consider their safety of their family and, you know, making sure, uh, you know, we're not seeing a lot of folks move just to move. Um, you know, they're not testing the market, in other words. You know, there's a real need to move, whether it's a job transfer. Mark Spain Real Estate serves four major markets in the southeast. We'll hear how Nashville stacks up later this week on Good Morning Nashville. And last night, the